Now this is more of an update video to a situation that took place back in June of this year I believe. Do you know what? Let's celebrate Roblox winning this. Please leave a like on this video and subscribe. And I, I wanted to make this update video talking about this because I did make a video on the initial situation and I called that video Roblox got sued again, here is why. And the reason why, technically, was because music publishers sue Roblox in $200 million copyright infringement lawsuit. And in that video, I just, I just took us through the entire article because this article alone pretty much explained every single thing you needed to know about the lawsuit and about Roblox getting sued by the music publishers because everyone knows that on Roblox there is an audio section and in that audio section, like, it is entirely created by the users. So all of the music in that audio section in the audio catalog on Roblox is uploaded by the players. And pretty much ever since audio has been a thing on Roblox, you have been able to upload anything and everything that you want to. And Roblox, I don't know how, but they got away with that for a very long time when technically that is not how it's supposed to be. Because let's take YouTube, for example, because if you upload a video to YouTube and if that video has a song in it that is copyrighted, basically you either either need a license to use that song in your video or YouTube is going to copyright claim it and in some kind of rare cases they will strike it but most of the time they just claim it because the music is allowed on YouTube and that's why they don't take the video down but they will claim the video which basically means that they earn all the money from your video and you get absolutely nothing but at least the video gets to stay up whereas on Roblox that shouldn't be the case because Roblox do not have licenses for any of the music that has been on the platform all of this time. And so I guess it's technically not directly their fault because it's the players uploading this music, but still Roblox has been allowing that to be on the platform and, you know, music publishers clearly said enough is enough and that's why they decided to sue them for $200 million, which I'm pretty sure in my last video I did mention that I personally think that that's a little bit excessive. But today, today we have an update on that entire situation and I technically Roblox won and they have come to some kind of agreement and Roblox and music publishers have now started working together rather than working against each other and it's a much preferable situation because previously the relationship ship between Roblox and music publishers was the music publishers were suing Roblox for a very excessive amount of money and now they are basically working together. So Roblox has settled the $200 million lawsuits with the music labels. Roblox will now be working closely with music labels as to unlock new ways for music to be integrated into Roblox. And there is a couple different articles being written on about this right now. Some were uploaded yesterday, some were uploaded today, but we have Roblox and National music publishers settle $200 million copyright lawsuit and then also Roblox strikes a deal with the music publishers and just basically all people need to know is that Roblox is no longer being sued like the lawsuit has now been dismissed and obviously both of them have started working together and I that's probably just because Roblox are going to lose far less money if they just work with the music publishers and, you know, start purchasing the correct licenses to be able to use the music on the platform rather than letting them sue them for $200 million because I, I don't think that that would have gone in Roblox's favour. But regarding all of the possible outcomes that could have come from Roblox getting sued by the music publishers, I would probably say that this is the best possible outcome and all I can say right now, like nothing significant has happened to the platform and we haven't had any noticeable differences right now, but what this means for the current audio catalog and what it's going to mean for the future of uploading audios and music to Roblox, I have absolutely no idea. And I'm pretty sure nobody else has any idea either. So I'm very curious to see how that's going to go and how that's going to change things for us. Because I mean, even if you don't use the audio catalog, even if you don't have a radio game pass in one random game on the platform 
I still feel like audio on Roblox is a very big part of it. And even the people who are speaking on behalf of Roblox say that they understand that music has the potential to play a more integral role on its platform and also that they are pleased that the publishing industry sees the potential of Roblox to be a significant creative and commercial opportunity for its members. I mean, simply put and summarizing all of these articles talking about this right now, Roblox were getting sued by music publishers and now they are no longer getting sued by music publishers and the entire thing kind of got dismissed. Like, it's no longer a thing. They are no longer getting sued, but actually both of them are now working together, which, like I said before, the best possible outcome. And regarding this, that's all we have to say about it right now. I mean, the future of audio on Roblox, not something that anybody can predict right now. All we can do is be patient and wait and see what's going to go on with that. But I have to say, I am very curious to see the direction that we go from here. So one more time, please make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe because I will always appreciate love and support that you guys give me. And you know what? It helps me out a lot. But I'm making sync of Roblox getting sued, but now they are no longer getting sued. And actually they are working together with the music publishers. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.